hello everyone welcome back to my channel please if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video in this video i'm going to be drafting this uh batwing pattern top which is showing on my top name so please keep on watching and these are the measurements which i'll be using for this tutorial please keep watching thank you so in this tutorial today i'll be using my tape measure the user suspect <laughs> my pen my ruler my scissors and my pencil well i won't be needing this so let's get that to it so in this tutorial today i have my pattern paper which i'll be using to draft out the blouse you saw on my top name so on my pattern paper this is what i have you know the zip was at the center front of the blouse so if you can see on this line here i draw out two inches for my zipper allowance and also at the top here i draw out a half an inch this is where i'm going to start drafting out my pattern and also because my pattern paper I, you can see I stick it together with my pin but I did not fold it because I'm trying to manage my pattern paper so what I did was what I did was this you can see for example your fabric what you do with your fabric you fold it like this you see this is your fabric you fold it like this and to determine the amount of fabric you're going to uh, cut out, what you do is this. You had your shoulder. Let's my half my shoulder here on this measurement was uh, 5.8. Let's say your shoulder is 11.5 or 12 inches. If you divide by 2, you get 6 inches. Then with that 6 inches, you will now had your, your sleeve length to it let's see your sleeve length is uh, uh, seven so seven plus six inches that gives you uh, 13 inches so so if you want to measure at your fabric for the front panel you had your two inches for your zipper allowance plus to so the 12 inches on fold let's say this is your uh, zipper allowance at uh, two inches here yeah? then you had your your shoulder your half your uh, sorry your sleeve and your half of your shoulder together then to be on the safer side had extra four inches to eat so let's say six inches plus your sleeve so let's say your sleeve length is seven inches that is uh, 13 inches plus extra four inches to eat so 13 plus uh, four gives you 70 inches so what you your your length of your fabric you're going to fold from year to year will be 70 inches that will be your the safer side then that's already the, the width from here i mean the width then the length of your blouse if your length of your blouse is 10 inches then if you want to be on the safer side make sure you have like three inches to it so 10 plus 3 gives you 13 inches so you will have a lot of fabric to work with it's always better to have a lot of fabric to work with than not to have at all so now let's get down to it here what i have here is this you can see this is my back panel my back panel and this is my front panel and also you can see there's a two inches this is for my zipper allowance so if I want to start drafting for the back, I start from here. My back panel is behind my zipper allowance at the front. You can see how I did it. Yeah. So you do the same thing for your own fabric. So now let's get down to the drafting. So the first measurement I'm going to take here is the shoulder to shoulder. The shoulder to shoulder is 11.5 divided by 2. What I have is 5.8. So yeah. From year to year, I'll put in 5.8 here. I'll mark it out. 
So the next step is to put the neck, the front neck width. The front neck width I'm going to be using for this style is 2.6. So here is 2.6. I'll put it here like this. 2.6. I'll mark it out. The neck depth which I'm going to be used for the front panel is 3 inches. So from here to here, I'll mark at 3 inches. So now I'll create the front neck curve. So the next step is for me to put the back neck depth. The back neck depth is one and a half. So from here, from on my zipper line here, I'll mark out one and a half here, like so. Then I'll create a curve from here to this place for my back neck depth. After creating the neck, the back neck depth, the next step is for me to create the shoulder slope. So from here to this place, I'll create the shoulder slope. Before that, I'm going to bring down the shoulder slope by one inch. So from here to here, I'll bring down the shoulder slope and from this spot here to here is one inch so I'll create the shoulder slope from here from here like so so the next step is to create my ham hole the ham hole I'll be using for this tutorial today is six inches so I'm gonna be adding half an inch to it for my ease of movement so from here for my shoulder slope here to here, I'll mark at six and a half inches. I'll create the lock dot from here to there. The next step is for me to find the midpoint of this ham hole. So from here to here is 6.5. To get the midpoint, you divide that 6.5 by, by 2, you get, I uh, think, uh, 3.2. So what you do here is this so from here to here is six and a half to divide by two you get 3.2 so you just from here get it from here to this place is the midpoint 3.2 then you come in by half an inch so the next thing here you rule out a line here from here like so Rule out the line. This will be your chest line. So the next step is to now take out your your straight body measurement. So what you do here, from this point here, you put your tape measure like so, like this. Then you bring it out like this. So from my shoulder to my bust point is eight inches. I'll mark it at eight inches. I'll put make it half eight and a half. Then from my shoulder to my under boss is now the half inches. From my shoulder to my waist is because it goes to I'll make it 16 inches. My waist is 16 inches. Then from my shoulder to the length of my blouse, I'll make it 19 inches. Remember this is a uh, pattern drafting, so you can use this formula to draft out your, your style. So, after doing this, I will now rule out a straight line like so from here, like this to this, like so, like so. And from here to this so now I'm going to show you the which is which so from here is my chest line here is my boss point line then this line is my under boss under boss line and here is my waist line and here is my length of my blouse line so the next step is to now put in the round body measurement so now the next step I will now draw 
it down like so so the next step is to now put in my under bust measurement my under bust measurement is 27 inches the remember by four i get 8.3 so yeah i'll put in 8.3 here sorry i'll get 6.3 sorry so yeah i'll put in 6.3 So now I'll go to my waist. My waist is at 3 inches divided by 4. I also get 8.3. From here, I'll get 8.3 here like so. Next step is for me to go to my length of my blouse. My length of my blouse is simply, remember here, my waist was 8.3. So you put it down 8.3 here. So what you do here is to just add 2 inches to your length of your blouse. So remember my waist was 8.3. If you had 2 inches to it, it would now become 10.3. So yeah, I had 2 inches to it. It's now 10.3, which I'll put on my length of my blouse. So remember the front is there's going to be a zip at the front so if you want to create a curve remember our boss is big so if your boss is big or your boss is small but you still need to have a shape on your belly so what i would suggest is you find the midpoint of under your boss if you want to give your blouse shape after the under boss to the to your length of your blouse what you do here is this it depends on you if you don't want to hard do this, you can just leave it like that and sew your your zipper center uh, at the front of the blouse straight. But if you want your blouse to have a shape after the under bust, this is what you will do. You just put from your under bust here to your length of your blouse here. You place your tape measure here like this. In this place here, what I have is is nine point five. So 9.5, you find it mid, you divide it by 2. What you have here, so here I have 9.5. So if I don't want to use my calculator, I simply hold it like this. Hold it like this. Then I'll take, you see my tape measure, I'll do it like this again. If I don't use my calculator, you see? Here now I'll have the... Uh, the midpoint so what you do here just simply place it here like so or let me do it like this upside down place it here from your under boss to wherever the midpoint stop you see how i place it place it here like this then you mark it so that will, that will now become your midpoint. If you don't want to use this side, this formula, you can simply divide your 9.5, your midpoint from here. Your 9.5 divided by 2, you get your midpoint of your under, from your under boss to your waist. I mean, so, sorry, to the late length of the blouse. So now that I've gotten my midpoint, I'll just simply come in by half an inch. Then... I'll just create a curve from here like so to get this spot you see that so now that you have gotten a curve from your under boss to your length of your blouse. Now you see these two inches here. Now you start measuring at your two inches for your zipper allowance. So from here, you measure from this place here. You start you place your tape pressure like this. Go like this again. You see from here, the two inches. Then you follow the curve, two inches. Follow the curve again. What you have is two inches. Follow the curve again. You have two inches. Follow it again. You have two inches. And this way again, two inches. Two inches. Two inches. 
and two inches so you can see from here i'll just use my free hand to connect the dots from here so you can see from under boss here it now curves inside to your length of your blouse Like it totally depends on you if you want to use this formula. Let's say if you have a flat belly, you and you have a big boss, then you want your zipper, your zip to come within your your belly. You can use this formula. But if you know you have a big belly and you have a big boss, so I would just suggest that you leave it straight that way because your 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 body and your your big boss and your belly will take all the allowances at the front of the blouse. So now let's get back to it.